Hey everyone, Data Old Nerd Guy here. Uh, even if I'm a Riot Old fan, I really dig those small, fun, sometimes innovative Dark Blaster. So today, it's the Adventure Force Double Fire by Busby. Welcome to that. The Adventure Force Double Fire. This is like a $12 blaster. Got this one at 4 and it comes with six darts, uh, a dart holder, and the blaster itself. Basically, it's a barrel break. You just break it, basically, to prime it, load it to dart, bring it back, and you got a two-stage trigger on it. Hmm. Very interesting design. Uh, no need for shell inside. It's directly darting. Uh, let's open that up. We now already know what's inside. We just need to check out check out the blaster. All open. Okay, little dart holder can go on either side of the blaster. And this is not an ugly design. Maybe a little out of proportion on this handle. Yeah, this handle, is, this trigger is really really misplaced. I mean, the trigger should have been where the trigger guard is for a comfortable grip, but the barrel really is under your tongue. Barrel really should have been just there. Huh? Hey, it worked. Okay, so I pretty much know what will be the first mod on this thing. That little barrel switch so I can have a better grip and move the trigger forward. And of course, elongate that stupidly short stock. And knowing Busby, the, yeah, there is internals in that stock, meaning I can't remove it completely to have a cool sort of shotgun style blaster. Huh. Okay, but still, let's try it. Let's try it with the included Busby dart. Come on, I only need two. Try it. Okay, so let's open it. Okay. Weird. This is the rope priming it. The rope looks solid at that first glance. The dart go all the way in. Barrel is clearing out pretty neatly. And the two stage trigger work nicely. And you feel it trying. Let's try. We got Zuru darts here. Oh, that's a snug fit. Those are really nice. They finish very, very flush. And they kind of seem to pop more. Okay. Not a bad thing. Not a bad thing. Easy to bring back. Yeah, I kind of like it. I kind of like it, really. It's very small, very flippable. This thing is almost balanced, flip perfectly. Look at that. It's amazing. Uh, and on the other side, yeah, too. Okay, this is a cool little blaster. I I'm not expecting a lot of distance, a lot of accuracy or power, but for a cool little mod, huh, yeah. And for that price, uh, I mean, normally it's very boring or bad blaster for $12 Canadian, something like that. At regular price, it's okay. But if you find it on sale, like half price or less, then go for it, grab it, jump on it. This is, this is a fun little thing. Maybe more for kids, but still, you need to put power. Unless you prime it with the tip of the barrel. It's okay, but I will be scared of putting too much stress over time on it. But if you prime it very, very close, you still need to put strength on it. And I think younger younglings could find it a little hard. But not too much over detail. I mean, this is standard dart holder on the side. Let's put a few darts. Hmm. 
over the chronograph. I'm going to put two Zurudar because they puffed really hard and I want to hear, I want to see what kind of velocity that that gives. Okay, which one is going to fire first? I have no clue. Let's hope it's this one. Yes, it was. Okay, not bad. 76 and 74. Not bad, not bad. For a small entry level economical blaster like that, really not bad. 74, 76. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Okay. Uh, standard performance for this thing. That's kind of cool. It's really like two, two independent cylinder, like what we would have in a rough cup with a two stage trigger. So, but it's only too dark. It's cool. Oh, okay. <laughs> the ropes stay attached and everything. So if you fire it, it's close or almost. Hmm. Let's try to fire a couple on target and we'll come back for a small final word on this thing. to say about this little beauty of a little blaster it's it's really cool I mean the fact that you just like break it you already prime you put two rounds in and you already have two shot ready to fire is very very clean for the price point again this adventure force double fire from Busby it's a neat one I mean, there's nothing else to say. It's average performance, average accuracy on a cool little packaging. And I think in this one is the fun factor, which prime first. I love my shotgun. I love my pistol blaster. So I think this one fits very, very well. Okay, I know that the grip, handle, and trigger guard are amongst the worst of all the blaster I've seen, uh, including in Bosby because sometimes Bosby I don't know uh, what kind of measurement they take but they don't have human as measurement those stock those handle this is misplaced I mean this is where the trigger should have been and this is where the barrel break really should have been to have a good grip on it because you're supposed to hold it here not somewhere around the stock at the far end, like not really comfortable. I don't know how they take those measurements at Busby, but other than that, very, very cool. I think that's about it. In the meantime, you can always follow me on Facebook and Instagram at that old nerd guy. Please leave a like and comment, subscribe for more content. Don't forget to hit that bell to stay informed on my next video. Uh, check out uh, my next update on my future mod coming uh, about the Iron Man Blaster and this one getting an overall because I need to replace some of those uh, parts on it so it's rightly proportioned. This was Dave Fatag. See you next time. Bye.